check. Trying to catch some minnows. Bugs. Cripes. this minnow bucket you can see that that's a bunch of minnows and I can try and catch some speckles with it's way better here than it was at the other lake where I was whoa don't want to fall in there He hit. I went for a little ride. Hmm. Nice buckle. All right. Clean this guy up. So I like to use something as a cutting board.
So I cut the head off and I open up the belly. And then everything comes out with it. Into the lake. Little bits. And then there's this this black strip inside. And that's their nerve center. And I like to take that out too because it can it, it it'll spoil first. A lot of people will clean the gills and then take out the nerve center. Give it a good rinse. Force all that stuff out. There. Now it's all clean beautiful orange meat because the size of my pan I'm going to cut the tail off it'll fit better there and then into the Ziploc bag. I want fish on the inside, not the outside. I always bring a little cloth, just to, it helps. There. Nice and clean into the pack and off to home. It's a nice one. Yep. I'll take it. And that's that. Right on. I like to prep for my fire. <clears throat> I really like to prep. And I like to start with with the uh, birch bark and then smaller stuff like small twigs on top and you know and then gradually bigger from there. Some people do it different. I don't know, it's just the way I like to do it. Small stuff. A little bit bigger, a little bit bigger on top of that, and that's basically it. <laughs> little wild strawberries. Just getting started. Look at the size of this bass I just caught. I just caught him off the end there. Look at this guy. Holy moly. He's big, man. I'm gonna eat him. Fish and chips. What's left of the bass? Yummy. Yeah. 
Yep. Badass machine. It's not about the riding for me. I mean, I enjoy the ride in and all of that, and I enjoy exploring. But I don't need a Mud Pro 700 to do that. It's just uh, what I ended up with. I got it used. The point of it is that I can go anywhere. I really can. I never ride it when I'm at home. I don't go on trails. It's just, just about getting in deep, no matter what the circumstances, you know. I got a serious serious clearance i got the winch going on you know i'm so lucky i got all the clearance right and if i do get stuck i got the winch and of course i use the trailer to bring in all my goodies yep it's a good one i got stung in the eye by something look at that i don't know what the dealio is but it's sucking i could feel it there it doesn't really hurt I don't know. I don't know what I did there. Last day. Head back for a while. Just soaking up some morning fishing before I go. It's such a beautiful day. Super grateful for being able to come out here. Time to get back to the world. COVID world. Hopefully things have improved. I have no signal out here at all. But... We'll fish another hour or two. Well, I'm here now. That's the end of it. I've uh, finished my my time here. I can hear a rabbit. Oh, there he is. That's funny. Anyway, I don't know if you can see him in the background there. I don't think so. Anyway, um, and uh, yeah, here we go all through all packed up ready to go and on see you guys later